Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to this live Q&A with myself. I'm Alex. I'm the marketing manager at Brooksville Melton College. And we have Kelly here from My Melton as well. Um, so we're going to be discussing um, everything to do with what makes Melton great. Um, and also talking about how that fits in with studying in Melton and with the college itself. So I'm going to kick off by asking Kelly a very good question, what everybody wants to know. Is there more to Melton than pork pies? <laughs> so um, the answer is yes. Whilst we do make a pretty good pork pie, there's also so many different aspects of Melton that make Melton a fantastic place, not only to study in, but to socialise as well. In terms of location, we have two fantastic post-16 colleges on the doorstep allowing you to study a variety of courses from A levels to B techs all the way through to apprenticeships. So there's really something for your post 16 option, whatever you wish to finish once you've finished your GCSEs. And then in terms of higher education options alongside Brooksby, which Alex will go into a little bit more detail about soon, we are also slap bang in the middle of five universities so not only do you have some really fantastic options for further education, but you also have some fantastic, incredible options for higher education as well. Lovely. OK, brilliant. Um, and do you have a, a question for me? I know, obviously, following Boris's announcement on Saturday, um, there's been a lot of concerns with students from both further education and higher education in regards to COVID and how um, courses and studying and socialising is going to be affected by that. You know, all you see in the news is, um, yeah. you know, um, is that. So how are you guys at Brooksby? Um, what things are you putting in place to assure that students um, know that it's safe to study? Yeah, that's a really good point. And obviously it's, um, it's at the forefront of our minds at the moment. I mean, our student welfare and the safety of our, our staff and our students is is our priority at all times. Um, so since March, we've been putting a lot of things in place. So for transport, for example, a lot of our students travel in on the minibuses that we provide as a college. Um, so we've put lots of things in place there to make sure they're safe, like reducing the numbers, everybody has to wear a face mask. You have to sit next to the same person every time. Like those sort of things, that a lot of it's common sense, but just to make sure that our students are safe when they're traveling to and from college. Um, it's also it's now mandatory for all students to wear a face mask in their theoretical lessons. Um, it's slightly easier at Brooksby because a lot of the courses are outside, being land based courses. Um, but still masks have to be worn um, when you're traveling around campus. Um, there's obviously increased cleaning regimes throughout the campuses um, and we're just generally being very, very aware of the situation and um, there's also temperature checks when you enter college as well now so um we're doing everything that we can to keep our staff and our students safe um and it seems to be um well received by the students as well at the moment so another one for you then kelly um what's your favorite thing about melton um easily the community aspect um melton has a very good community it's somewhere that i can go into a shop and they know me by first name yeah. and a lot of the time um, they'll know me by my particular interests. So, for instance, I went into Mountain Sport yesterday to stock up ready for the pandemic and Michael <laughs> immediately took me to the um, energy tablets that I have for my running. Um, I can go into Luna Rain in the mall and be directed towards the latest bath salts um, and smellies that I haven't had the chance to try yet. Um, or I can go to Wycon and Tom can show me where the sheet music is for trumpets, for instance. So it's always something that I've enjoyed and I like the fact that um, it's safe to go out at night, but it's one of the places that I can go out with friends and know that I'm going to be safe throughout the night. So it's really like that big community feel and I know that's something that you guys at Brooksby are very big about as well and something that we'll go into a little bit more when we discuss higher education and the differences between studying at a college and at a traditional university as well. 
Yeah, I think that's a really good point. I know you just touched on that, but um, we're a relatively small college, although we've got the two campuses and um, we very much reflect that sort of um, small town where everybody knows each other and it's very much a family and it's safe, like you say, um, and it's something that we pride ourselves on quite a lot. I mean, you listed some of the big universities and colleges that we have around us. Um, and in comparison, we're, we're very small compared to them. I mean, we have about 1500 students across the two campuses. Um, whereas some of the larger colleges in the cities have got, you know, up to 40,000 students. So, you know, you've, I'm sure their level of teaching is fantastic, as is ours, but every student is treated as an individual with us and really looked after. Our class sizes are small, you have access to all the equipment, um, you have access to student services, which I know, particularly at the moment, is a really big asset because um, that sort of physical and mental support that our team can provide is. Um, is very good. So thank you, Kelly. Um, did you have another one for me? Yes. So following on from my previous point, um, I know that a lot of students will see um, HE courses at college and they'll see HE courses at university. And there are times that, you know, take performing arts, for instance, um, you can study that at a quote unquote traditional university and you can study that at Brooksby and both will lead to a Bachelor of, um, Bachelor of Arts. So could you possibly go into a little bit more detail in terms of the differences between studying at a college and at a university mm. in terms of things like tuition fees, um, etc? Yeah, absolutely. So I think it, it kind of comes down to what you want from your university experience, you know, um, if you're somebody that's wants to go out every night and really is focused on the social life um, there's different ways that you can approach it, I suppose like like we were saying like some if you go to a smaller college or a smaller university provider degree provider um, you are more likely to know everybody at university and not just people within your course or not just people that you live with you are one of the family as we like to say um, so if you go out in for the social side of things um as you said as well it's very safe you you'll know the people that own the pubs you'll know the people that go out as well so you can still have a very good social life it just won't be huge nightclubs um and student night every night um but the benefit of going to a smaller sort of specialist provider like we are is that um again you get amazing access to the equipment there are lower tuition fees every year if you're local you can live at home so again you'll save money there um, as has been raised recently you know you are close to home so if there is anything that goes wrong you're not going to be stuck in halls you're going to be able to study from home with your family um, and not have to worry about about any pandemics um, <laughs> um, and we are you know we're a specialist provider so rather than having to fight over um, equipment, for example, you know, if you study equine with us, we've got amazing science labs where you can have access to everything without having to reserve anything or, you know, um, fight your way through a thousand other students to get to the equipment. Um, so, you know, we look after every student like they are one individual. You're, you're a big fish in a small pond with us. Um, and I know that suits a lot of learners especially if you are interested in doing one of our really specialist subjects. If you wanted to see any of our students' previous work, you can have a look on our website and our social media and things like that. And you'll see that um, a lot of our alumni have gone on to really great things as well. So hopefully that's, hopefully that's covered that one. <laughs> if you're a student thinking of moving to Melton, are there any like big events or anything really notable that you would like to tell people about, Kelly? Firstly, um, to touch on the location of Melton, in terms of prime location, you were able to, via public transport, access Birmingham, Nottingham, Peterborough, Loughborough and Leicester. Um, so in terms of location, you have an absolutely prime location there. In terms of big events and festivals, um, you'll probably know Melton for three main things. Firstly, every year we host the British Pie Awards. Um, and actually the British Pie Awards was actually featured on an ep a documentary series the BBC did called The Life of Pie. The other two things you'll probably know as best for are our Glaston budget, which takes place during May bank holiday weekend. 
So Glaston Budget is actually the world's biggest tribute festival. So if you want to try a festival for the first time or with student finance, you might not necessarily afford to go to Glastonbury or you want to keep relatively local for your festivals. Um, and then the third big thing we're famous for is our food festivals. Um, I like to operate on the policy of if you can think of something edible, we've probably got a festival for it. <laughs> yeah. um, we have a cheese festival, the Artisan Cheese Fair that falls within May. Within July, late July, early August, we have Pie Fest, which is a two day festival dedicated to all things pie. And then we have the big food festival in October, which is the East Midlands Food and Drink Festival. So there'll be a variety of talks and workshops about all things food. I know you guys at Brooksby have attended in the past with your catering students. Um, and then we have Chock Fest in November, which is great time for Christmas because essentially you buy everyone's Christmas presents during the store and then you just gouge yourself on chocolate. And actually, if you go to Chock Fest, it's the only place you can try a chocolate coated pork pie. So it's yeah, oh, wow. um, I see that you're giving that face. Um, as somebody who tried one last year, it, it tastes a lot better than it sounds. Um, <laughs> but I will leave the students to make the judgment call as to whether or not they think that's any good. Um, in addition, we also have a monthly vintage market in the uh, in addition, there's going to be a 40s weekend next May. You've mentioned Twin Lakes previously, so because you mentioned Twin Lakes, it only makes sense that I bring up Extreme Stream, um, which is a monthly Halloween theme park that takes place from the end of September through to the end of October. Um, the park itself is incredibly popular and is a great place for student work if you're looking to do one of our um, stage makeup courses at Brooksby or one of the performing arts courses um, because they work really flexible around your dates. I actually worked 2019 season there. Um, so it's a really good one if you want to get some more work experience in that field outside of your placement and also um, you do get paid for your time that you're working there as well. And if you just want to go as a guest, the experience itself is fantastic. And that's without mentioning things like the Malifax, um, well, Malifax Championships that takes place in the autumn, the Cycle Classic Race that takes place um, May, um, Tough Mudder, if you're into running or you want to do something for charity, takes place every June. And also when we go for live night, um, nightlife and student night later, we're go I'm going to go into some of the things that I've got planned through the My Melton channels towards 2021 as well. I want to talk about um, what it's like to be a student, what the student night is like in town. Firstly, first, there is stuff nightlife wise if you are under 18 or you choose not to drink. You know, 20% of 18 to 24 year olds, for whatever reason, um, are now teetotal. So it's an unfair assumption to assume that everything in Melton is 18 plus and alcohol related. Yeah, exactly. For instance, we have fantastic restaurants that you and cafes that you can go to during the evening. We also have an independent cinema on King Street called Regal Cinema. And the great thing about the Regal is that you actually get student discount there. What a lot of people might not know is that we actually have an escape room in Melton. Um, so if you are to travel to Twin Lakes, we actually have UK escape games. Um, so these guys have a variety of different themed escape rooms as well. And then if you're willing to travel a little bit more outside of the area, we have trampoline parks. Um, if you're willing to travel to Leicester, there's a variety of crazy golf options there. Laser tag as well. Um, and then also here's another thing you might not know. If you're 16 or 17, you can actually go to somewhere called Youth. So Youth is a centre specifically for young adults, young people. And previously they've hosted under 18s discos, basketball tournaments, football tournaments, ping pong tournaments. So it's a good place to go if you want to socialise, but you're let might be, let's say, a little bit too young for, you know, to go to a pub or something. And then also Montero hosts their weekly quiz nights on Monday. So um, we have a variety of nightlife as well. Weekly live music performances. I'm going to do a little bit plugging for my boy Pete here. So Pete runs the Mountain Gig Guide. 
so it's if you want to see what live music is available when you're here on your studies that's a really good website to bookmark and then each week Pete will release the full week listings of where in the borough there's live music and where you can go and check it out in addition we do have some DJs etc so I know you said a little bit about nightclubs we do technically have a nightclub yeah it's, sorry we do <laughs> we, we do it is tubes alternatively um, we have the cutting room that have a DJ Friday and Saturdays nights um, and you know pre-COVID was open till three o'clock in the morning. Another one that's recently been granted a late night license is White Lion. These guys have now also got and as well as their indoor perform um, stage they've also recently built an outdoor performance stage so you can expect things like live music, outdoor parties and stuff coming into the future for that. They are also the location for Melton's current student night. So pre-COVID, this would take place every Tuesday. However, we're now looking to start putting alternative events through for the start of next year that are going to be COVID secure until those particular aspects of the events will be able to carry on. So those are really, really good options for students in terms of good places to go. Um, if you want to go somewhere a bit further afield, um, Leicester, Nottingham and Loughborough all offer really good nightlife options. That kind of leads us on quite nicely I suppose to talking about what the transport links are like because um, it doesn't take very long to get into Leicester at all does it? No, so um, I will preface this by saying now that if you want to go into Leicester on a night out you will probably have to book a taxi yeah. unless um, taxis tend to be within the £40 range each way. So the, 5A bus to Leicester is every 20 minutes and you can actually catch it from right outside the college so if you want to go to Leicester um, and from Brooksby you can get the direct bus into Melton as well um, for those of you that live on the Brooksby campus. Um, you can also get a direct train to Birmingham, you can also get a direct train to Peterborough and Cambridge if you go the opposite way as well and you can also get direct buses to Nottingham and to Loughborough. I will finish it up by saying that if you are on the Melton campus, the town centre is literally 30 second walk away, which is really convenient um, as far as, um, you know, lunch breaks and that are concerned as well. Thanks, Sally. Have a question for me? What sort of extracurricular activities does Brooksby offer for students to do outside of their studies? Have a lot of sporting extracurricular activities that they can do. Um, at the Brooksby campus we have links with um, different partners such as Leicester Tigers, Mansfield Town Football Club, Leicester City Women um, and it's complemented by our gym and all the facilities that we have there. Um, if you live in accommodation at Brooksby, um, our accommodation um, advisors put on lots of different things in the evening as well. Like we've just had a Halloween film night um, there's different cooking experiences, um, lots of different things going on. The best thing to do if you are interested in the extracurricular activities is speak to our student services team. Um, a lot of the time um, they will put different things on depending on the demand. So um, if you have a lot of people that are really interested in like a book club or a film club, uh, it's something that they would help you organise as well. Yeah, it's, it, Kind of depends on student input as well. Um, you know, like I said, we're not huge you, a campus or degree provider, so um, it really is up to our students, and they have that really great ability to be able to dictate what extracurricular activities we put on as well. I think another thing that students might want to know, Kelly, is which shops provide student discount because I know you've done quite a lot of work on this, haven't you? Yes. So if you are to go without plugging too much. If you are to go on the My Melton website, which is www.mymelton.weebly.com and click the um, projects and the student section, we actually have something called the student discount directory, which is a list of places in Melton that offer student discount. Um, if you want some other offers as well, you download the Melton Mowbray app. Uh, Sheila Kaur from Melton Bid has actually implemented an offer section in there as well. Oh, so you can actually literally download the app, tap the offers section and it will list every single offer that businesses within the town centre are offering. Um, you can also check out My Melton as well. So we've actually got some exclusive discounts through My Melton as well. It might also be worth as well as student discounts looking at other additional discount schemes as well. 
So, for instance, if you are a movie buff, it might be worth looking into investing in a Regal Cinema me membership. But alongside the stuff you get with your cinema, you also get discounts um, for local businesses around, such as Foxy Lots, Cutting Room, Bellini, etc. The other ones to look into are Great Food Club membership and there are special discounts that you may be able to access by showing your membership. So if you're into your independent treateries and your food, then that could be a really good option to look into it as well. If you're more into your craft beers and your alcohol, then it might be worth looking into Camera, which is Campaign for Real Ales membership. For those of you aged 25 and under, there is actually the option for you to apply for a young membership, which is at a reduced rate. And within that, you get access to vouchers and you also get access to um, discounts with your membership as well. So those are all alongside your traditional student discount, all really good options to look into um, alongside your traditional ones like your NUS, uni days, student beans, etc. OK, OK, um, I think we're going to have to end there. Um, thank you, Kelly. Oh, one thing I just wanted to add actually was um, Kelly's obviously an amazing um, source of information about everything that goes on in Mountain and unfortunately this year due to Covid we weren't able to have a freshers week in September like we normally do which um, Kelly's always helps out with as well. We are hoping to be able to do something in January or alternatively Kelly and I will work together to put something on ex external to the college um, if lockdown is lifted etc. So after all those amazing things you told us about the uh, the nightlife in Melton in particular, I think that sounds like it could be a really good idea. Um, so thank you very much, Kelly. Was there anything else you wanted to add before we before we go? Uh, if you follow Brooksby Melton on their social me uh, media platforms, and you follow my Melton on our social media platforms, then you guys will be the first to know what's going to be going on in terms of not only January but future student events going forward. Yeah. Um, so advice for that is to watch this space and see, yeah. you know, Barry, Barry, we will be looking to do something in 2021 in some capacity as well. So latest on Young Melton, you can follow um, My Melton on our social media. So we are on Facebook at My Melton Mowbray. We are on Instagram at This Is My Melton. We are on Twitter at My Melton 6. We also have a YouTube channel, which literally is just My Melton. TikTok, we, which is my Melton. We also have our website, which once again I will I mentioned before, which is www.mymelton.weebly.com. And I'm just going to go over to Alex now to go through Brooksby social media platforms. So once again, give us both a big follow and then you'll be able to be the first to hear about things going forward. Yeah, thank you, Kelly. So we are on uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and the handle is at Brooksby Melton. Um, and you can also look on our website, which is www.brooksbymelton.ac.uk. Um, thank you, everyone, and we will speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.